Hi guys, my name is Riti Garde and I am a third year dental student. As we all know, India is facing the second wave of the coronavirus, which is affecting more than 4 lakh people daily. So please stay at home, wear a mask, use the sanitizer and get vaccinated as early as possible. A lot of post-COVID complications are also seen in different parts of the body, be it the lungs, the heart or even in the form of blood clots. However, today I am going to be talking about a rare fungal disease which has now significantly increased after COVID due to the immunocompromised state of the patients which is called as mucormycosis. So what is mucormycosis? Mucormycosis is an opportunistic fungal infection which has increased significantly in the post-COVID patients. Basically, the fungi enter your body either through your nose or the oral cavity, enter your blood vessels which cause blood clots and cause the necrosis or death of the surrounding tissues. It is seen commonly in the oral cavity affecting your various sinuses like the maxillary air sinus, the frontal sinus, the ethmoidal sinus, the sphenoidal sinuses. It can also affect other parts of your body like the brain, the GIT, your lungs and other organs. So who can get infected by mucormycosis? Mucormycosis is generally seen in patients who have various comorbidities or are immunocompromised like patients having AIDS and other critically ill disorders like cancer. It is also increasingly common in diabetes as high blood sugar level enhances the fungal invasion or the fungal growth. That can be explained in the casket that you will see here. Now, you will ask me that why it is increasing in post-COVID patients. First of all, when a patient gets infected by Corona, their immunity is significantly decreased and their capacity to fight another disease is reduced. Also, a lot of antiviral and steroidal drugs like Remdesivir are given to these patients. Steroids have a tendency to cause hyperglycemia that is increase your blood sugar levels and so this increases your risk of contracting a fungal infection. So what are the various signs and symptoms that you should look out for? Initially, mucormycosis appears to be asymptomatic and non-threatening. Very few small signs can be seen, however, they should not be ignored. They include nasal congestion or black discharge from your nose, loosening of the teeth in your jaw, presence of an unexplained non-healing ulcer or abscess in the oral cavity, numbness of the cheek, facial pain, facial edema, swelling of the eye or the orbital region and various other things. Initially, the skin appears to be normal. However, with progression of the disease, it becomes red and later, due to necrosis, turns black in color. Initially, when mucormycosis begins, it acts as a small lesion present in your jaws. However, it can extend up to your eye and then the brain. It affects the eye by causing blur vision, followed by dual vision and if it progresses further, there can be total blindness of a single or both the eyes. If left untreated, mucormycosis can be very difficult and deadly to manage. It is called as rhinoorbital cerebral invasion as it affects rhino that is your nose, orbital the eye and cerebral that is your brain. So it is always better to have early diagnosis and get timely treatment for it. There can be various complications of mucormycosis extending up to lungs and even it can cause renal failure. As reported by the doctors, initially a practitioner used to see around 2-3 to three cases of mucormycosis in a year. However, now that note has increased significantly to 15-20 to 20 cases in a month and by that we can understand the severity of the situation. As stated by CDC USA, mucormycosis has a 50% mortality rate. It is a dangerous and deadly fungus to beat and so it is very important for early diagnosis. So how do we treat mucormycosis? 
the treatment of mucormycosis requires a multidisciplinary approach. A lot of doctors need to work hand in hand, that is a physician, an oral and maxillofacial surgeon, a neurologist and an ophthalmologist. Antifungal therapy is absolutely necessary. Amphotericin B is the drug of choice and needs to be administered for 4 to 6 weeks. This is an extremely expensive drug, however, it is very necessary to administer this drug. Another thing that is extremely required in the treatment of mucormycosis is the surgical debridement or removal of the infected organ. If you have already been infected by the coronavirus, then you need to take special care. Even if you have tested negative, please stay home for at least 10 days as you are immunocompromised and susceptible to various infections out there. Take steam twice a day as it will prevent microbial growth in your nasal passages. Also, do not ignore any of the signs and symptoms as mentioned earlier. Visit your nearest doctor. The main aim of this video is not to scare you but instead create awareness about mucormycosis so that it can be diagnosed at an early stage and treated. Please stay at home, stay safe and if you are experiencing any symptoms, visit your nearest physician or oral and maxillofacial surgeon.